Hey guys, Purely Awesome Cuber here, and today I have a review of the GANS 356. So I purchased this puzzle from the cubicle.us for about $23. It's fairly expensive for a 3x3, so let's see if it's worth it. I have an um, unboxing video, so there's a link in the description. Uh, go check that out if you haven't seen that for my first impressions of this. And uh, let's get on with the review. So first off, let's start with the sticker shades. They're the standard uh, GAN sticker shades, which are similar to the Diane, and they're not very bright. Like, they're dull, and I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I'm spoiled by Moyu shades, so. They're not, like, a hindrance to myself, but they're, they could be brighter, I guess. And before I start this, like, with turning and everything, I want to say I haven't lubed this. Uh, as I've said in some previous reviews, I, I'm not going to be lubing, lubing my cubes before I review them because lube can make a puzzle turn totally differently and make it seem like a totally different puzzle than when you got it. And I just feel like that's not reviewing the actual cube anymore. So I'm not going to lube them before I review them. But let's get on with the actual review. So first of all, this is 56 millimeters as the name says. And other than that, the stats, other than the price, are pretty good. The stickers are good quality, while the shades aren't the best. And, yeah, so, the turning of this puzzle is probably, I wouldn't say it's the smoothest I've ever felt, but it stays smooth. Like, when you're turning it, it's incredibly smooth. It feels a little tiny bit rough. But there's like no bumps. It's just smooth. It doesn't completely glide along, but it's very smooth. Um, and turning it faster. It does get a little uh, bumpier, but it still has that incredibly like ultra smooth feeling to it. So I really like the turning of this puzzle. Um, for me, it's incredibly smooth. I don't know how many times I've said that now, but it's very smooth. Um, as for corner cutting and fluidity and stuff, regular corner cutting's 45, um, doesn't take any effort, and over has a little bit of trouble, but people have said it goes crazy over, so, um, it might just be my tensions, I do have it a little tight, but it corner cuts as much as I need, one piece is just so easy, like, you don't even notice it. And now for reverse cutting. It can do about there with no effort. This is the best reverse cutting I've ever seen. Under, like a QB, goes with like, you could just be like, boop, and it reverse cuts. Like with one finger, it reverse cuts. It's insane. This has such uh, good reverse cutting. It's very fluid too when I'm turning it. It does have some catches with the corners on the centers, but other than that, the corner cutting makes it so it rarely catches. For me, this is a fairly fluid cube. I don't know why it would catch, but the reverse cutting is amazing, and so is the regular cutting. And overall, that combined with the turning makes for a very fluid and enjoyable cube. And the mechanism of this cube, if you can take a piece out, which I probably can't. Yeah, I don't want to break it. Um, but the mechanism of this cube, all you need to know is it holds together very well. It, I'm pretty sure it has a metal core too, which makes it more stable and less flimsy than the GANS 357. So overall, this cube... The only downside to it, I would say, is the price. It is a little on the more expensive side. Probably the most expensive 3x3 I've seen. But other than that, this cube is outstanding. And I'd highly recommend, if you can afford it, that you'd buy this cube. Now, if you already have a cube that you're completely happy with, again, you don't really need it. 
but if you're looking for something that is really smooth and has fantastic corner cutting, this is probably the cube for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.